Hello mystery seekers and welcome to Sandown, area of outstanding natural beauty, tourist hotspot and best place to see fat blokes with their tops off. But uh oh, what's that dark cloud on the horizon? Recently things have taken a turn for the worse when the Isle of Wight and Sandown Council decided to close the public toilets. But who are these monsters that ruin the lives of millions? Well, imagine the people who can't get jobs as traffic wardens or estate agents. It's them. Apparently, the councillors think that Sandown is in such a state that you can just piss anywhere and no one will notice. And that's what could have happened to Bryce Webb if it wasn't for some startling intervention. I went to see Bryce Webb at his beach hut to hear this remarkable story in person. Bryce, give me the story. Well, I'd had a few drinks in the tap for my mate Roy's 50th and I was on my way back home. Halfway back, I thought, uh-oh, I need to answer the call of nature. A piss. Yes, a piss. So I headed for the public toilets, and then I remembered they were closed. I had a dilemma. I wasn't going to go in the street. You know, I'm not an animal. But why should I be forced to wet myself again just because they can't provide services? I mean, what should I do? Do yourself. Well, I was thinking about it, and then the miracle happened. I saw a mystical toilet appear in front of me. The actual system of the toilet? No, a sign saying toilet. So I went in and probably had one of the best pisses in my life, you know? Well, how would you explain this phenomenon? The phenom the, what happened? Well, there can only be one explanation. A ghost toilet. Some sort of, like, piss angel looking down on me in my hour of need. What you're saying... you used a ghost toilet? Yeah, I am 100% sure it was a ghost toilet. Well, well, I better look into it. Oh, um, uh, b before I go, can I just say what a great hire shop you're running here. It's located to the right of Sandown Pier and it offers deck chairs, bikes... Um... Yeah, and stand-up pedal boards. D don't forget them. Right, enough chat. I've got an investigation to be getting on with. All right, then. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. The only thing to do was to retrace Bryce's steps and hope this benevolent ghostly apparition appeared. Halfway along the route, I saw something that might give me an answer. Could it be that Bryce mistook this sign for a toilet? I went to speak to the owner. I was in the front room doing some decorating and some bloke who looked absolutely half cut walked up and just had a piss all over the front garden. He then tried to wash his hands using the gate and then he walked off. Well, that's it. Another mystery solved. Something even more terrifying than a ghost. A man who openly pisses in people's front gardens. But who's to blame for this monstrosity? The council. You can find out more about The Mysterious Soul by visiting the website, themysteriousoul.com. There's also a Mysterious Soul podcast. You can support The Mysterious Soul on the website and get this merchandise as well as unpublished videos and podcasts. Goodbye. Stay safe.